I want you to think about this the next time you're searching for a better job. Let's talk about it. What's going on Closer to God Ministries? Welcome back to another Righteous Spirit-Filled episode. Today I hope to get you closer to the truth, closer to the kingdom, and closer to the will of God. Somebody out there, man, isn't satisfied and isn't content with what they have in life. And I'm telling you that where you are right now serves a purpose and you probably should stay there a little bit longer. Because if you follow your will, which is not the desire of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you're going to find yourself in slavery. And many of us have been in this boat. I've been in this boat myself. And sometimes you're going to bite off more than you should chew. All of these different jobs out there, when you're looking at the job description, a lot of people, we look at the salary. And I don't know if you've ever been to New York City, but I've had the pleasure to go to New York City three times in my life. Once when I was a kid and two times within the last five years. And as we stayed in these hotels, these Skyrise hotels, you know, I would look across at business towers and things like that where people work. And I don't care what it is, if I would look out the window at nine at night, I would see somebody in an office, all the other windows were blacked out as everybody had left home, but there would always be a couple offices that were still people in there working and they were burning the midnight oil. And I want to tell you that you don't want to sacrifice to such, an, to such a point that you lose time with your family. You lose time with what is important because when you look at what a lot of these employers do, they're only concerned with feeding the beast. Your family is second, their second priority. Feeding the beast is their first priority. And a lot of times when we're looking at these jobs, we look at the, we look at the, the monetary value that it will add to our life. Oh, this job is a six figure job. You know, this job makes $150,000 and this is going to fix all my problems. But ultimately it's not. If you are making ends meet now, if you have everything you need, maybe not everything you want, maybe where you're at, you need to stay at a little bit longer or, you know, manage your expectations because you don't want to end up in slavery. So today I want to tell you that everything that looks promising might end up in slavery. And this comes from 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 19. They promise them freedom but they themselves are the slaves of corruption. For what overcomes a person to that he is enslaved? If you allow something to overcome you as an in-person, like a career, like a job, like money, then you are enslaved to it. That is why at the, all of my videos, I tell you to go in peace, go in love, be content, and you know, be humble in all your blessings because it's very easy to get enslaved. And I know what it's like chasing money, chasing this status. But at the end of the day, if it takes your focus away from God and his will for your life, it ain't no good for you. You're going to ultimately end up stressed out, you know, calling on him to fix your problems. And like I said, sometimes we bite off more than we can handle, more than we can chew. And that's why I said this message is for anybody that's thinking about jumping ship, wanting to go work for some of these employers out there that want you to do nothing but slay for them. They don't treat you right. They don't treat you fair. They don't even recognize your talents, your abilities, and what you're actually trying to bring. You know, it's all about feeding the beast. And you don't want to be a part of that. I don't care how much money it makes. I don't care what the cost. It's not worth it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, smash that like button. If you need prayer, drop a comment down below, brief description with your name, and I will pray for you. Be humble and content in all your blessings. Go in peace and love, because I'm only shooting it gun barrel straight. Bow.